So in this experiment, you're going to need a pen and paper to start. And so you're going to answer a bunch of yes, no questions about a series of words. So you don't have to number these, um, but you will just write yes and no on your sheet of paper. So you see each question for about two seconds. A target word will appear for one second, and then you'll have five seconds to write your answer. Um, you'll get a click sound as the next question appears so you know to look up. Okay. So let's give you an example. <clears throat> so is the word found in the sky? <clears throat> and so you would write down yes or no on your sheet for clouds. Then you're going to get a blank screen. <clears throat> so question is, is the word found in the sky? Clouds, you say yes, you get a couple seconds, get a blank screen, and then it'll move on to the next one. So um, you're going to do 60 of these, and let's go.
Okay, so now what you're going to do is turn your sheet of paper over with all the yeses and noes and write down as many of the words as you can remember um, from the first part of the experiment. So I'll give you five minutes to do that, uh, starting now.
Okay, so um, you should have words written down, and you could take a break because that's a lot of words. But um, let's calculate how you did on the experiment. So um, if you recalled any of these first lists of words, laying copper, witch, trout, floor, label that number, uh, label the number of words that you got from this first category as case words. Then you'll label the number of words you got in this second category as rhyme words. And then the last category you've got here is the number of words you've got that are category members. Um, so you'll want to pause the video and um, write down the number of words for case, rhyme, and category. It's a total score for each one. And that's what you'll turn in on Blackboard is the number of words for each one. So what's going on? Um, well, we've looked a little bit at levels of processing. So levels of processing is that the, um, the circular one we've talked about in the notes where uh, the deeper you process something, the more likely you are to remember it. So for the category words, we should do better because that's more deep processing than simply, is this capital, is it not? Um, so what Nickerson and Adams did was they asked people to draw what a penny looks like. So these are some of the drawings who try to reproduce a penny. And we've seen thousands of pennies in our lives, but um, what happens really is that the level of the processing of a penny is what matters. So if you wanted to try and pick out which penny is correct, okay. <clears throat> um, oops, sorry, it doesn't even tell you. Uh, I think it's, um, I believe it's a, but I don't even remember, which is the whole point. Um, the idea is that even though we um, see things a bunch of times, it's the level of processing that matters. So um, we need to be paying attention to it to be able to, um, to encode it correctly. All right, so you're gonna give your totals to experiment um, on Blackboard, and I'm gonna create this, a similar graph to the one here on the right where I get how the average number of words for case, for the rhyme, and for categories. And what we're hoping we'll see is that the number of case words is the highest, followed by rhyme, I'm sorry, category is the highest, followed by rhyme, and then case, because category processing is a much deeper level of processing, whereas case processing is a much shallower level of processing. So go turn those in on Blackboard now. Okay. So a quick debrief. So it's replication of Craig and Tolving. It's called the level of processing effect. Um, the way that material is processed uh, affects how easy it is for us to recall it. Um, so words are easier to process if we uh, are thinking about them in terms of their meaning. So if you think about sound or um, phonology or surface characteristics, those are much harder to recall because they're not processing them as, as um, deeply as thinking about the meaning of them. 